Now that's bright decor. Let's see how we achieved it. Okay, guys, welcome back uh, to the Rocky system. Um, we have um, moved on slightly. Uh, we were at uh, about cycle 30 ish uh, last time you were with us. Uh, we're now up to 58. Uh, what we've actually been able to achieve now is to basically complete our research on um, intermediate, not sorry, intermediate, the novice research. So all that novice research is done. We now only have a few uh, researches to be done that require um, the intermediate research. So we're only looking at the fine dining and combustion that's left. What we've actually achieved with our base, uh, we've basically got our main layout um, nearly enough there. We've, uh, we've discovered a number of hatches uh, hiding in uh, the areas that we dug out. Uh, we've got uh, this whole section here uh, completed near enough. Um, and we have started to move our um, storage compactors out of the main base area. Um, obviously, I need to uh, mirror that on this side uh, so that it is um, nice and symmetry. Uh, you may wonder why I've got some gas permeable tiles uh, with uh, gaps in between um, down here, and that will come through shortly. Um, but otherwise, we are um, not doing too bad. We are starting to run out of algae quite seriously. Um, so I spotted a little bit down here, so we're going to take that out as a priority um, so that we can clear this out um, and then once I've got another door here we will uh, release get, remove this lot out as well um, it's also ah, we've got some more further down as well so that's even better so let's just extend that ladder that can go down um, to there Oops. helps if I press the shift okay so that's what we're going to be doing down here. Um, just to give you a bit of an oh, more algae over there. That's not too bad. Just to give you a bit of an overview on what we've actually got around. Uh, where I was hoping that we had a few geysers, we don't. We've got a few weaselworts seeds uh, and plants there. So that was the second area that I thought was going to be um, uh, a primary area for a geyser because the water's like 40 degrees and it's clean. In a slime bio so it's yeah it was hopeful um, and we've got our uh, we still haven't got down to our we what seed here really yet so what we're going to do for this episode um, is we are going to um, finish off the research we're going to uh, disable these buildings and, and remove them um, just to have a quick look at our stress levels we have we're at 10% at the moment um, so let's have a look at what's causing that so it's dirty hands and grimy so we need to sort out somewhere for them to be able to have showers but we also need to sort out an alternative for using algae uh, as uh, for oxygen um, so without any further ado let's carry on so I've also closed off this section here um, mainly because I want the uh, dupes are oh, you 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 are you little monkey I had a feeling that that might have happened. Destruct that building and destruct that. And you can build that as a primary nine there. I don't want them using uh, that water yet. I want them to clear all the other water around. Um, and also I've got some water down here. So let's just have a quick scan of the priority. Uh, we need to open this up a bit more quite quickly because we have got no algae and we are going to have problems otherwise. So uh, just a, a little update. We've got this container here. He's got uh, organic in him. Let's get rid of that polluted dirt. I've had to put one there primarily because as food rots, it needs somewhere to go and these hatches can then uh, clean that up for us. As long as they don't both go and bury themselves over there. That's just great. Okay. Uh, that was one of the biggest problems I had. I've got three here. And there was one that just would not move from over here. He eventually fell down. But then I totally lost him. So I have no idea what happened to him. But 
it's uh, right okay so what I want to try and do I'm going to do this on a, um, a low priority because it will be um, completed off camera uh, so we're going to just basically no I don't want to do that one there Let's see use insulated tiles going to be starting to close off the base now the reason for having the um, gap there else if I do it there is because I wanted a ladder going up on the outside of the base so I want to be able to start insulating my um, area and I'm actually going to use um, yeah I'm going to use mechanized yeah mechanized airlocks because when there's power I want it to be quick and open and close um, so that we're able to um, stop too much pollution coming into the base from outside and I've got a double airlock here with the with the um, um, gas permeable tiles on each level for the basis that I can then control the center column of air and we're going to mirror that on the other side a little bit later so where we are now okay so we've got our guys down here starting to pull our gear out there that's happy got a lot of carbon dioxide so I think I'm gonna to have to in the short term get another algae radium on the go so let's chuck that over here just to and then increase that priority just so that it can start helping if you look at the overview we are really looking very unhealthy across the whole board so that's what's going to happen that side we'll mirror that on the other side um we've got algae getting dug out so let's dig out a bit more here go there and prioritize that as well so that actually start digging moving slot okay so now they're up start to close up right let me just prioritize nine this and make sure nothing else is on nothing else is on a priority higher that they could access to one put all this down to six at the moment what I want them to do is to remove that block so that it forces them over here and I'm going to wake them up we go gone perfect you can go back to sleep now so those hatches will only be over here now and after they've moved themselves over there we will um, we will uh, remove another tile so they can't jump over just so we've got a bit of control of where they are and we can control what food they're actually having it doesn't go over there then I'll just use them as food I've got four in this sort of area go on good sleep good sleep this is kind of the problem I had before where he just would not go and bury himself anywhere right okay so they're all done they're all done so on to the very last one let's actually deconstruct this building so because I wonder what the t yeah because you see it's warm there we go have I got enough power yeah <laughs> I um power I've basically upgraded the um, main lines to be the heavy watts and then actually I've got heavy watt all the way down there um standard wire connection there standard there yeah so 
I like to keep all my power heavy duty uh, for long term use. Okay, what else we got? Right, nothing else I want there at this moment in time. Okay, so let's look at mirroring this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven, eight. Right, okay, I had actually done that. So, what we're looking to do now is uh, again put our it's all ready. Spot a bit more algae. Go. Let's increase that one. See how the oxygens work. So, okay, so we've had a slight improvement. Not great, but we're working on it. Okay, so let's just continue keeping this cleaned up. Otherwise, we will just have things a little bit stressed. Ah, that was the other thing. I want to have to bring in, or basically want to bring in another dupe. Um, so let's have a look at who we've got. Oh, okay. Um, I'm looking for someone who's got a good all-rounder. Uh, abilities because um, I need to advance the areas of so construction, creative. And I'm not I'm not really fussed with cooking at the moment. I've never really spent time cooking uh, or have my guys cooking stuff uh, apart from the very beginning um, before the thermal upgrade, and that was. Uh, not really, no, I don't think any of those are suitable for this moment in time. Let's just reject all those and see what we get next time. Uh, right, let's just, let's just give these guys a little something to eat. No, I'll do it in a minute. So I've got everybody all sorted. So, right, okay. Just to also give you a little overview, I have uh, put in some plumbing. So let's put some gas pipes in. So we've got plumbing in place so that we can start um, introducing clean air into the base. Um, so we just do this for the time being. And when I've got the system in place to actually complete it, we'll be able to um, have Cold air coming in. Okay, so they can get on with those. Right, so we've got, this is why I've had problems before. Chuck me organic, polluted dirt, priority now. Let's get him swept and removed. Uh, he's gone because basically how aren't you getting on now get rid of you there we go so basically um i've got uh, just a air deodorizer right next to this bit of our pollution that's being created from that uh polluted dirt uh let's just um open that up actually no let's open that up time being. Right, I wonder whether I can construct get that done. There, perfect. Right, okay, so all my hatches are on this side, so when I'm ready to move them to their new home, which will well actually so I'm just gonna move them down here to be honest. Um I can just remove that tile and those two will just drop down into here. Um, so, let's do that. 
So that's it, all the research complete. So that's the end of the, that cycle. So let's just deconstruct that building. Then we can let's have a look at what else we can deconstruct. So power grid. So if we deconstruct the wires from there across, that'll all go. And if we just upgrade, you know what, I'm going to come back to that later. So I like to put my um, manual generator in a cooler environment. So instead of uh, being the very top of the base where all the heat is just going, and rising. Okay, so that's uh, near enough done. Oh, that's also what I've done. I had to uh, go to the top here to uh, dig out some copper ore so that I could actually um, do a lot of my uh, gas permeable tiles. So it's a case of uh, we've opened that up and I've made it ready so that we can just go take out a few, a few tiles and we're going to release that water down here and then we're going to open that up so it can all just drop down. So I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll deconstruct buildings, we'll deconstruct those three. Now, and then we'll have a little bit of a waterfall. So let's just uh, take that out. And we've got all our water in a, a single location. You know what? He's gonna he's gonna cause me problems. So Let's leave that sandstone. Yeah, let's leave that sandstone to break. There we go. So that will just allow it to run down slowly for the time being. But it goes all together. Right, okay. So let's just prioritize the destruction of that. And Let's get some priority a little bit higher on these bits. No, I want seven. Do it. So all the water's just dripping down. And I can forget about that for the time being. Right. So this should start uh, making them on here let's just see water let's just uh it's empty that i know it's going to just go everywhere but once i close this up again they won't be able to uh, reach it so okay and a bit faster and now it's gone I hope it doesn't overflow. You know what? I have a feeling it could easily overflow. So let's just get some priority. Where are they? Oh, they're going to be the cycle's going to end. No, that's good should be okay just in case it does overflow no it's not but either way we're safe now so we can remove those yeah we can remove those not that much water there reboot create those there um right okay Look, let's have a look at our um, seeds and our edible foods, etc. Right, okay, so 
Last time we had um, about 11 mealwood seeds and when they uh, completed the cycles it was a case of we had uh, only half of these produce um, seeds but when I've dug out all the rest of this I found a lot more seeds which actually helped uh, immensely um, so that's what uh, we have uh, um, gained essentially what I'm doing let's close that I can't see that anymore So now we've got a little bit somewhere. Actually, do you know what? That's probably what's actually happened is this carbon dioxide hasn't dissipated. It's just moved down into this section that I've opened up. So that's probably what's actually happened there. Come on. So leave everything else to do that. finished so anything else that falls down can wait pick that up afterwards we're going to just uh, prioritize those as well so it's it's closed off properly uh what have we got there water bottle there stuck in between oh that's just great just deconstruct that and see what see what that comes out with. Oh, there it goes. Oh, water. Empty building. There we go. Let's set your priority nine for there. And then we can close this up. Perfect. All right, let's have a look at who's on offer now. Okay, actually, Ren is looking quite useful. Um, strength will improve, creativity will improve, construction, very good, athletics, very good. Um, yeah, I think that's a no-brainer there. I think we're going to go for Ren. So our stress is at 11. It'll be interesting to see how Ren introducing into the actual uh, colony reduces stress. So... 1% down already. Bear in mind they would only, the, the stress would reduce normally overnight when they sleep, so because they, they get stressed when they're tired. 2% down. 2% down. That's not too bad. So everybody's got their own beds, so that's not a problem at all. We're starting to get things done here. Um, I think I'm going to go off camera and force them to get this done so we can actually move on to the next stage. So Back with us in a moment <laughs> okay so welcome back we just uh, give you a brief update we've uh, completed the uh, this right hand side of the walls what we've got had to do uh, our stress levels were starting to go through the roof while we had our guys working in this area we've had to dig out a lot of this uh, um, stone here and to uh, free this mob so that he can actually start converting all this chlorine into um, polluted oxygen and then the the odorizer here will then um, convert it into normal oxygen so that's the plan um, we've got a bit of hydrogen being uh, captured here uh, so what we'll actually do is open this up a bit more to allow this more once this chlorine strength reduces more significantly we will open up more so that it's got more to uh, um, work with um, what we've been doing inside the base at the moment we are trying to get um, the uh, decor level a little higher than it was um, basically uh, that these guys were getting so stressed uh, that they wasn't uh, overnight wasn't uh, de-stressing them sufficiently so as I'm going to be needing to bring more people in uh, into this uh, this base um, and I'm going to flash that now to say that yes we've got someone there ready to come in I need to to um i need to um get enough uh 
areas high decor level so that there's place for them to sleep etc so basically we're looking at uh, this section here as our next bedroom area um, and then followed by here um, we will be looking to move all this food uh, further down uh, so it's actually in the cooler area Let's see what the temperature is down here at the moment that one uh, so we are we're about 25 25 degrees is, is not great uh, but we haven't opened up this area properly yet so I think we will carry on and we'll see what we can achieve so they're all very very busy and let's have a look at priority now you may go a bit mad because I've had everything on priority nine that I wanted them to focus on within the base so it depends on what's left that's on nine okay so you can see all the artwork there's only one person that's actually doing it at the moment so he's uh, working his way through it as he completes each piece of art I can knock the priority down so it doesn't look so horrendous uh, so that will actually just I mean he is I think it's Abe isn't it uh, the uh, artist yeah Abe it's creativity of eight so he's going to be um, oops let's carry on with that he is going to be continuing working his way through uh, all of these canvases which will make a um, big improvement to the, uh, the aesthetics of the place uh, for the dupes We've also started clearing out this section of the base so that we've got, so we're mirroring this side. Uh, we will have uh, more, let's actually pop those in as well. Get, because uh, problem with insulation tiles is that they, it does uh, increase stress or it's, let's have a look what it says on tiles decal radius minus five so it's a case of having as much decor items around it will improve it uh, slightly but who knows let's have a look at this side actually this might be a good example so instead of being totally red we're okay, we're at 45 <laughs> okay so we can do a lot more in there to uh, improve that because we want to have this main section of the base as stress free as possible for the dupes uh, so that whenever they come back in or to feed or to uh, to sleep they're de-stressing after they've been out in either a cold bio or the warm bios um, the last thing I want them to do is to come back into this area stress to the nines and then we struggle to maintain their stress levels by having to chuck them onto cots constantly so again you have to do it nine just to uh if i can bring in uh the uh new dupe that we've got so let's have a look who we've got okay again i'm going to be looking for um a good all-rounder and to be perfectly honest i'm not really fussed on cooking yet i may spend some more time on it later um i'm not got really much illness at the moment because i haven't extended out so that's not really going to be an issue so again learning no it's going to be josh all round we've got five creativity so he will assist uh, uh, our other dupe in uh, doing the artwork so let's just make sure he can do that so he is there as a uh, combat let's take you off creativity yeah you can do that research you know and take those off um i'm gonna leave you on the, everything else because you will in uh, construction no you're not going to do that and if if, if the relevant attributes is zero then they will not learn that skill i don't think so i mean yeah I'm gonna leave him on there so see how he how he turns out because I didn't think they did. So let's see what we get. So two of them. Let's have a look at that. Masterpiece times three, yeah. Good. 
So we've got somewhere nice uh, for them to uh, sleep. And we can bring another two dupes in when we're ready. Tile's been complete up there, so I can take that out on that one. For some reason, they left a tile heel here and here. So the easiest way is just to give them a little working station to uh, jump up onto and uh, be able to build from there. So, okay, so we've got four masterpieces and it's not too bad it's improved it slightly so we can actually let's have a look at what decor items we've got um we've got a height of three so we could let's put a couple of bullfrim blocks on and see how that improves it and then if we put some flower vases in on this side see what the real difference is um and then we can uh, go from there how we do the rest of it so let's actually just prioritize those because i'm quite interested in that oh i can take off the others as well at the end of the day changing the priority here will only uh, reduce the uh, how quickly they will come and deconstruct it after it's been completed because uh, they shouldn't uh, get uh, destroyed or, or damaged because they're out of the way um, so theoretically that shouldn't be an issue. So food we're doing okay with. Um, again, let's have a look how many seeds we've got. Mealwood, 12. So we're starting to get down. Uh, so that's... Right. So basically, I just need to start open, uh, digging out more to uh, get some more seeds. <clears throat> those priorities as well while they're working in those areas they can at least benefit slightly from some pleasing artwork so what's going on down here tracing we've got not too bad. Another source of um, recycling is the clay that comes out of the air deodor deodorizers. We can obviously turn that into coal through the hatch. So that's what this little guy is doing. Uh, we have a lot of uh, pollution down here, primarily carbon dioxide. But every time this one opens up, let's actually open that up again. Uh, some of this polluted oxygen is working its way in. So I'm just trying to capture that so that uh, we have a so suitably um, safe mixture working its way up Dig out that as well okay. yeah so okay so let's change that priority over here to see what that does sweep as well to make sure there's nothing in there that's going to make a difference. There we go. So, okay, so that's made some improvements. So we're looking at, um, say, 70-ish. Okay, so here we go. Breathe. Yeah, not surprised. Sort out the oxygen levels. So obviously that was my Abe, who's uh, a lot quicker than the new guy. So, right, okay, so let's have a quick scan of this. So we've gone from 33, 81, to 71, that's interesting, to 87. Ah, that's very interesting. Looking at that, the sculptures are providing not as much. Um, hang on. 
That's permeable tiles minus two. Yeah, that's one there. The ladders. Oh, hang on. The flower. Right, okay, so the flower vase is adding as well as the actual plant. That's interesting. That is very interesting. So, I think moving forward, we will just focus on how many have we got. Uh, we've got 13, so I think we will put in flower vases. So, I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Uh, so, if you liked what you've seen, please hit the subscribe to see the next instalment. I uh, will be focusing on getting the oxygen uh, supply into the base uh, more efficiently so that we can uh, improve our health uh, of our guys while they're trying to sleep. Uh, if they've got any comments, leave them below and any suggestions on what you'd like to see, please let me know. That's Murphy out.